Welcome to Northwoods Angling. We're your hosts, Pete Warner and myself, Jacob Hulse. Let's catch some sturge. Oh. Yep. All right, fishing circle hooks so you don't want to really set into these fish. Doesn't seem like it's too big. Back reel. All right, <laughs> this back reel won't get off, but we're definitely hooked up. First sturge of the day. This is awesome though. She's fighting, she's not fighting too hard, but there she is. Oh, monster. Just a monster. 30 incher, not even, 25. This fish will go back healthy. We need her mama, that's what we need. We need big ones, ones we can't even fit through this hole. But that was kind of cool to see the iFish Pro go. Just at, at dusk right now, we'll, we'll just use this, this worm, put it back down and maybe add another one and hopefully get a few more. We are hooked up. Just got the cameras rolling. We're watching our Vexlars first on this side, then over here, a big fish came in on the bottom. Huge, like a foot thick, right on the bottom. It's painfully obvious what they are when they do that. Um, he already took like a 50 yard pull while they were trying to get the camera set up. We're getting a little ground on him now. No idea how big he is, brand new rod. Wolfram Customs, hooked me up. Super short 38 inch rod, heavy action. He said it's the heaviest one he's ever made. And this is why, just for the big ones, nine inches past the back of the reel seat so you can get it underneath your forearm, get a little bit of leverage on them. It's always a mad scramble to get everything else reeled up, getting out of, gotten out of the way so that when you get a fish like this, can get them up without wrapping on other stuff. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get it up quick enough. We think it's wrapped up in that one. We haven't seen him or anything. We're out here, bottom of the basin, 30 something feet of water. I think he marked 31 feet of water. Bottom of a break. These fish just swim along, I think down in the basin. I don't focus much up on the slopes to catch them. 20 pound power pro, six pound diameter, I think it is. All right, now he's lifting off. I think we're underneath the shack. He can't be far. There he is. I think that he's uh, 50 something. These big holes, kind of nice if you reach down and. Healthy fish, no tag, no distinguishing marks, just a really yeah, nice. That's a, that's a well over 50 inch fish. It's probably 52, 54 inches. Oh, absolutely. Inches. Yeah, it's all of that. On a, a, on a pole fish. that's 38 inches long, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. You, we Healthy, even heavy fish. Here. No. So we're just going to send that one home. They always swim off super strong. You were so right. You said there's a fish rooting down there. He was rooting and around. Was, and it was rooting our Vexlars. It's turning around. It was, it was unreal. That was cool. We need to get our baits down right away because they seem to travel around in schools. It's prime time right now. Um, there's more big fish down there and we're going to get them. Well, we've been out here for a little while tonight. And Blake started off with just a monster fish. Um, over 55 inches, I know that for sure. Uh, and then it's just been a little bit slower. We hooked up on a couple smaller ones. Yeah. Oh, he's bigger. Good he's definitely bigger than I thought. Yeah. Big old bubbles. It's a good fish. He just doesn't want to turn. Oh, there he is. He just pops straight up the hole. 
He wasn't aligned before and then he just pops straight up the hole. Right in the corner of the mouth. Trouble it comes out that easy. Let's show him what you caught it on, Jacob. Oh. We're inside the heated shack tonight just to keep these fish warmer. There's a big fish marking on the bottom. So I'm gonna get this guy back. We're gonna get some more baits down and uh, hopefully get a little bigger. What do you think? Time to let her go. Oh, she wants to curl up right when I'm trying to get her in. There we go. There she goes. Woo! Heck yeah. All right. Let's get the bait stone. I think there's a group down there. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Unique New York. Unique New York. Ready? Hey, guys. I just want to show you a really easy way to detect very, very light bites. These sturgeon bite incredibly light. So all we're doing is fishing little baits down on the bottom. In this case, fathead minnows and night crawler combinations. So I have the rod placed into a rod holder here. The line goes down to the bottom and our bait is resting on the bottom. From there, the line comes up to the rod tip. Got a slightly modified bobber there. Put it in a... Uh, slack line loop rest the bobber somewhere a little snow pile like that works really well now anything touches the line it's immediately obvious that something's going on then you can remove the bobber reel up the slack and you're ready to set the fish set the hook on a fish you just reel up the slack and <laughs> All right, we're hooked up again, and we had another sh we had another shack set up right. I mean, they're probably ten feet. They can probably hear me right now, set up behind us. And I think this is a pretty good fish. So this fish is just kicking my butt. This is pretty sweet. We've. Uh, been fishing a good while tonight, and I've only hooked up with small fish. But now, I'm hooked into a bigger fish, that's for sure. I can't tell you what, I mean, if you've never done this or experienced this sturgeon fishing through the ice, it's definitely something to get out here and do. We're kind of coming to the end of our night here. We've caught just a, probably seven, eight fish tonight. And for me, nothing's kicked my butt as much as this one. That's for sure. And hopefully, I can get one bigger than Blake. Because I think this will probably end our night for us. If I can get him in. Oh my God. I mean, he's still pulling out. This is awesome. Once again, I mean, you want to get out and do this? Small piece of worm, a couple of fat heads. You can be fishing for sturgeon. We don't have some elaborate setup. We're just using a walleye spoon and just are able to kind of hone in on these fish because we have such good bite detection. We know the second something, be it a mud puppy or a sturgeon, hits our pole. This one hit, I dropped the bobber off and uh, reeled up my slack line and set the hook and he just went screaming. I think you guys are gonna have a treat coming up through the ice here pretty soon. <laughs> this is phenomenal. I, I mean, for me, this is my biggest sturgeon through the ice. I can tell you that right now. Oh, I saw a flash. Oh, yeah. I can see him. It's a good fish. It's a bigger fish. Definitely a bigger fish. Oh, I got him. I got him. <laughs> Check this. 
Look at that guy. I tell you what, Blake, that's the biggest fish I have ever caught through the ice. Wow. <laughs> All right, well, I think it's time for us to pack up. Man, this, I mean, this is the biggest fish I've caught through the ice, and we've just been putting the hurt on the sturgeon tonight, so. From Blake, Pete, myself, Northwoods Anglin. We'll see you next time. Let's get this fish going. Yes. That was so awesome. So awesome. I'm just slime.